O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Come, O Creator, Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest give of God most high, O fount of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gives art known, the finger of God's hand we own, the promise of the Father Thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Our senses kindle from above, and make our hearts overflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Drive far from us the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee forgive, turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, of both the eternal Spirit blessed. O glory while the ages run, be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death the same to thee, O Holy Ghost, eternally. I, the Lord, am your Saviour. I am your Redeemer. Alleluia. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for his loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and is for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasury he sends forth the wind, the firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he wept in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Zion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, 
and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit the land, on his people the land he bestowed. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. I, the Lord, am your Saviour. I am your Redeemer. Alleluia. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David, which has come among us. Alleluia. Lord, your name stands forever, and forgotten from age to age. For the Lord does justice for his people. The Lord takes pity on his servants. Pagan idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. There is never a breath on their lips. Their makers will come to be like them, and so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, bless the Lord. Sons of Aaron, bless the Lord. Sons of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear him, bless the Lord. From Zion, may the Lord be blessed. He who dwells in Jerusalem. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, give praise for ever. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David, which has come among us. Alleluia. Let us sing to the Lord. Great is his triumph. Alleluia. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us sing to the Lord. Great is his triumph. Alleluia. Now I have something to tell your elders. I am an elder myself and a witness to the sufferings of Christ. And with you I have a share in the glory that is to be revealed. Be the shepherds of the flock of God that is entrusted to you. Watch over it, not simply as a duty, but gladly, because God wants it. Not for sordid money, but because you are eager to do it. Never be a dictator over any group that is put in your charge, but be an example that the whole flock can follow. When the chief shepherd appears, you will be given the crown of unfading glory. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. Alleluia! Alleluia! This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. Alleluia! Alleluia! He laid down his life for his brothers. This is a man who loves his brothers and intercedes for the people. Alleluia! Alleluia! 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. This is a man who loves his brothers, and intercedes for the people. Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the faithful and wise steward, whom the master placed over his household, to give them their measure of food at the proper time. Alleluia. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving wicked things Sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. This is the faithful and wise steward, whom the master placed over his household, to give them their measure of food at the proper time. Alleluia. Let us pray to Christ the High Priest, who was appointed to represent men in their relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past, you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed. Continually cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. Lord, save your people. In the presence of their brothers, you anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. Lord, save your people. Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed, for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you are continually, continually raising to the glory of holiness those who serve you faithfully. In your love hear our prayer. Let the Holy Spirit inflame us with that fire with which in so admirable a way he took possession of Saint Philip's heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life.